Hello YouTube, Dave here again. It's another Mail Day video. Uh, today I'm going to be opening a package that I actually received from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, their PR people uh, reached out to me. I emailed them years ago, a couple years ago I think at this point now, um, just to inquire about uh, like how they handled like media requests and stuff like that. And uh, it took a while, but I did actually end up getting a uh, response back from them. <clears throat> so they offered to send me, I thought it was just a copy of a single book uh, in the mail for one of the upcoming D&D products, but uh, this thing is actually a really large box and is heavier than I kind of expected, so I really don't know what's in here. Uh, I ripped off like the shipping label and all that stuff. Uh, it was in like one of those uh, plastic bags. So I didn't look at the invoice if it had like a detailed uh, listing of what's in there. So let's just go ahead and uh, open it up and uh, see what's inside. Alright. Yeah, this is way, way bigger box than I was expecting. So let's just... Open it up here. There is some paper packed inside. And looks like a marketing advertisement for Ghosts of Salt Marsh. And oh wow, okay. Oh my. Alright, inside we've got a large thing of bubble wrap that the missus is going to absolutely love, so I will save that for her. But inside, we have, well, I can actually aim this a little closer now. So we have the Ghosts of Salt Marsh hardcover, so this is the regular retail version of the book uh, that you can get at local bookstores, um, you know, larger chains, stuff like that. But they also sent a copy of the um, Game Store, Hobby Store exclusive cover as well. So this is, I wasn't expecting to receive like a copy of both versions of the book. Uh, wow, uh, this is pretty, uh, pretty unexpected, I, I guess is the, the word I will use. So I was expecting to just get a copy of this here <clears throat> in the mail. I wasn't expecting to get both and their <clears throat> marketing uh, advertisement as well, so I'm going to uh, keep this I'm going to keep this actually just as a sort of a collectible thing. Uh, now I know that I have the books now. Uh, I'm not going to open them up. I'm not going to flip through them right now because the official release date for these doesn't take place until uh, May 21st. And I think today is what the sixth or seventh. I don't have a I don't have a calendar handy. Um, oh, it might be a little bit uh, past that. But anyway, <clears throat> I really haven't been keeping track of the uh, of the dates. I think it's the seventh because I think Friday is the tenth. Anyway, I'm not going to get uh, too involved into that. However, uh, I'm not going to open these up and uh, do anything with them on camera until we get. Uh, to that release date, and basically, once my if my local game store receives their copy and puts it out on the shelves, then I can uh, I'll do something there uh, for it. But right now, I do want to respect the uh, release dates, and um, so that was just something that um, I'm going to have plenty of time to sit down and uh, read through this, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and again, it's <clears throat> really awesome to have the uh, the other copy here. What's sort of interesting about this cover, I guess I'll just talk about this now because I'm not going to open up the books uh, on camera until we get closer to the actual proper launch date, um, but unlike say the Mordecai's Tome of Foes uh, hobby store exclusive that I have, this one number one does not have that like rubberized sort of texture to the cover which I <clears throat> honestly like uh, that it doesn't have that because that covering, first of all, it can rub off and when it starts to rub off it, it looks bad, right? It's just something that's really sort of noticeable. <clears throat> but it's also 
really, really receptive to just picking up like fingerprints and anywhere that you grab the cover by will have your handprint on it and I would have to like wipe it off and with like dry paper towel or stuff like that try to make it look halfway decent. So this feels just like a regular hardcover which is pretty cool. <clears throat> the back cover is also uh, really nice. It's got kind of a, I don't think it's metallic but when you angle the when you angle the, the book, it actually kind of looks like rays of light shining through the water, which I think is pretty neat. So, and then we got the Ghost of Salt Marsh on the side. We have the Dungeons and Dragons logo here. The other thing I wanted to mention is that it doesn't have like the D&D logo or anything <clears throat> on the front cover. It just has like the, uh, the, the fancy stylized uh, Ghosts of Salt Marsh. So, again, really, really cool that we got that there. <coughs> Excuse me. Still suffering from a bit of a bit of a cold, so trying to get past that. And here we have the actual uh, this the regular retail version of the of the book. Levels one through twelve. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm starting a new D and D game actually for a friend of mine. Uh, she asked me to run a game for her and some of her friends. And um, I was trying to figure out which adventure I wanted to do. And um, now that I have this before we start, I might actually give this a look through in the next day or so. And uh, I might start running this uh, for them. So anyway, uh, so that is what came in the mail today. And I'm, like I said, I was, I was expecting this. I was not expecting uh, to receive a copy of this as well. And of course, tons of bubble wrap for the misses. Who, who loves that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, I can't wait to read these and um, I will have a proper like flip through and review uh, that will be made available around the same time as the release date. Um, so I'll probably do a flip through during the release date for like the advanced copies that some game stores are able to sell, which is usually about a, a week or two beforehand. So that should be in the next few days. And then Hopefully, if things don't get too out of whack for me, uh, hopefully I will have the full review available day one on May 21st for the uh, the adventure itself. So anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I want to thank uh, the PR department at uh, Wizards of the Coast. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing what this book's all about. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care.